Hey, this is Movie Edge, and this is my S video, and I'm not looking forward to it because I got like two, three piles, plus I'm going to make a part two to this because it's that many S's. So, yeah, sit back, relax, and get some popcorn, your favorite beverage, because it's going to start right now. First one off here, Sicario. Sicario de la Sodata. Uh, there's a, a um, Sylvester Stallone double feature. You got uh, The Specialist and Tango and Cash. Both good, both good flicks. Uh, you got an Oliver Stone triple feature. Natural Bone Killers, the director cut. Uh, Evan give Evan. <laughs> Any given Sunday, trying to go too fast. Director's cut, and uh, you got JFK, which is out of print now. You can only find it on these three packs, and that is director's cut. Great movie, JFK. If you haven't seen it, I got three Sandler double features here. Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore. Um, 54, 51st Dates and Just Go With It. Both good uh, rom-coms. Um, there's another Sandler double feature. Mr. De Mr. Deeds, which is a remake of old movie. And Big Daddy. Got a triple pack here. Um, Scary Movie 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I still need four and five on Blu-ray. I'm still looking for those cheap. Sherlock Holmes and Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows. It's a great double pack. Got a little water damage on this but from the fire, but my house fire two and a half years ago. And there's still damage on stuff, right? <sighs> it's a double feature, but it's for a simple twist of fate. If you have not seen the Steve Martin movie, it is very good. Very touching. He starts out as a miser. And then this kid he finds. It's left on his doorstep. And it's it's just a brilliant movie. Um, Unsung Heroes. This should have been in the use. But um, this is a good movie too. It's got a great cast in it. You've got. Um, Annie McDowell. John Turturro. Michael Richards from Seinfeld. And. Uh. uh it's a coquin? Coquit? No, that's not Merlin. Uh, I can't see it so small. Murray Chocolin? I don't know his name. But there you go. Simple Twist of Faith, I highly recommend. Uh, Twilight Time, this is out of print now. The only way to get these movies is, um, I think, uh, Shout Factory has them on DVD. Support your local sheriff, support your local gunfighter. Both great, great comedies. And uh, they're both rated G. Uh, <laughs> all right, you got a... Okay, I did a Kevin Smith triple feature here. Chasing Amy, Jay and Silent Bob, Strike Back, and Clerks, the original. Got another Kevin Smith double feature here. Uh, Clerks 2, and Zack and Mary make a porno. This is... Uh, I guess this was sold at big um, uh, Walmart, I guess, because it doesn't have the porno part in it. But it's a great, funny movie. I wish they would have put an unrated version out. Another double feature. This is from Touchstone. Sister Act and Sister Act 2. Back in the Habit. Um, the first one holds up. The second one really does not hold up, in my opinion. Uh, two movies I need to visit. I only seen the first one, Shanghai Noon, Shanghai Nights. Great cast in this. You got uh, Owen Wilson and Jackie Chan. Um, don't have the first one on Blu-ray because it's not available. This is the second one. Son of Pale Face with uh, Bob Hope, Jane Russell, Roy Rogers, and Roy Rogers' horse Trigger, which is stuffed and mounted somewhere. I don't know where. Or it was buried with him. I, I don't know the story on that, but it's somewhere. Uh, one of my favorite 
dark musicals. Um, Johnny Depp, Sweeney Todd. This is directed by Tim Burton. Um, if you haven't seen this movie, it's really well worth watching. The spirit, um, the spirit, the spirit is willing, and uh, it's got um, Sid Caesar, Vera Miles. Uh, it's a William Castle film. It's a William Castle uh, comedy horror movie. Um, they move into a house. They didn't know it was haunted, but there you go. And then this kid was his premiere in this movie. He was on um, Archie Bunker's Place. But this is like one of his first movies. And another person that was his first movie in this was uh, John Aston. That was like one of his first movies. Uh, this one came out in uh, 67. So I think that was before The Adams Family. Civil and Rivalries. Really good movie. Great cast. Bill Pullman, Carrie Fisher, Jamie Gertz, Scott Bakula, uh, Sam Elliott, Ed O'Neill. Of course, Chris Yalley, Takara Ryan of Film. Bam. Good movie. Uh, scary movie. Very good. Silent Hill. The second one, Silent Hill, what is this, Revelation? I uh, have not seen yet. Heard really bad things about it, but I still want to see it. Um... John Cusack, say anything. Uh, part of the uh, the one before Glass is Split. Part of the Unbreakable, Split, and Glass um, trilogy. Uh, recent one I picked up at Dollar Tree. Sex Tape, Cameron Diaz, and uh, Jason Siegel. Don't know if this was her last movie, but some people say she's retired. I don't know about that. Um, here's one that's only found in Australia, but it's all region, and that is Splash on Blu-ray with Tom Hanks, uh, Daryl Hannah, Eugene Levy, and John Candy, directed by Ron Howard. Great movie. You can find this on Amazon, Amazon UK. So, uh, yeah, if you look hard enough, you could find it. It's all region. Uh, movie I just got, but I didn't watch it. Straight Talk. With Dolly Parton and um, James Wood. Uh, haven't seen this one in a long time. So that's why I bought it again. State of Play. I've seen this on cable a long time ago. The cast itself is great. you got Russell Crowe, Ben Affleck, Rachel McAdams, and Helen Mirren. One that I nearly need to get to. People say this is really good. Stonehurst Asylum with uh, Kate Beckinsale. Uh, ben Kingsley, Michael Caine is in it, um, Brandon Gleeson, and uh, there's other people in the cast, but this is uh, supposed to be a good movie. It's from Millennium Entertainment. This is another one that I just recently got because it was never on Blu-ray in, in this country unless you get a rental copy. And I checked, and it's really hard to find a Blu-ray rental copy of this. It is uh, Sleeping With Other People. Never seen it, and um, it's only available right now. Well, it's available on Amazon, but you get it cheaper on um, HamiltonBook.com. All right, good cast. Um, you got Jason Sudeikis, Allison Brie from uh, Community, Amanda Pete, and Adam Scott. Really good cast. Um, saw the seven film collection. And, of course, next to it I put Jigsaw because that would drive me crazy if it was in two different separate numbers. So Jigsaw, which I still have to visit and I still have to watch because I didn't do it yet. Second pile. We're getting through this as fast as I can. Um, speed. This is, uh, it says the 20th, what is it, the 20th anniversary. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, the only thing the 20th anniversary about this disc is the artwork. That's about it. The disc is the same as the one that came out before it. Fun movie, fun movie. The Sandlot. Highly recommend this one. Um, yeah, it brings you back to your childhood when you were playing like stickball and all this other stuff in like Sandlots and the alleys and stuff like that. Uh, speaking of 
There we go. Seeking a friend to the end of the world. Uh, Steve Carell, Karen Knightley. It's a comedy drama. It's it's okay. Checked it out. This was a dollar as well. Um, so, yeah, it's well worth checking out once. This one, oh, blew, uh, how funny this was. I didn't think it was going to be as good as Zombieland, but it's it's just as good. It's Scout's, Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Great cast in here. Virtual people that you've never heard of before. Um, but it's a great film. It really is a great comedy. And um, some raunchy stuff in here. Not for kids. Uh, movie that I got for the Dollar Tree. Michael Caine and Jude Law Sleuth. This is the remake version of the original. Which I still want to get the original. Um, movie I have not seen, but, uh, I looked interesting. Scar 3D, but this is the cheap 3D one. This is with the, uh, 3D glasses in it. So, I'll probably just watch the 2D version of that. A classic that is coming out on 4K, Stand By Me. This is the 25th anniversary edition. Really don't think I need this on 4K. It stands, it stands by itself. And this is all region, in case you're wondering. Ah, uh, South Pacific. This is a great musical. Uh, my grandparents had this on vinyl, like the soundtrack on vinyl. Don't know what happened to it. I wish I did. When they moved, long time ago, it disappeared. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. Um, this is a Rodgers and Hammerstein musical. And uh, this came out in what year? What year? 1958. There's two versions on here. There is the theatrical version. And there is the roadshow version, which is 172 minutes. And uh, i never seen the roadshow version. i only seen the regular version. But, um, yeah, I want to see the roadshow version when I get that much time. Um... Good movie with Samuel L. Jackson. SWAT. Uh, Dollar Tree pickup. Shadow Dancer. This is with um, uh, Clive Owen, Jillian Anderson. And um, it looked really good, so that's why I picked that one up. Anything really Magnolia titles, I'll pick up. Uh, Smokey and the Bandit, the 40th anniversary edition. This one, it's a classic. It's a great movie. Got Jackie Gleason in it. Uh, who else is in there? Jackie Gleason, Sally Field, Jerry Reed, rest in peace, and Burt Reynolds, rest in peace. Jackie Gleason, rest in peace. Oh, wow, half this cast is dead. Uh, and uh, I don't know who the rest of them is, but um, Universal is releasing part two and three to their mod program so I might get those eventually when they go down in price a uh, movie I found used but I wanted to check it out but I know this one I got I think this one I got from family video used it is uh selfless with um, Ryan Reynolds and Ben Kingsley and uh, yep uh, this one I bought this one off of cinema sickness and I told him, oh, you got that movie? That's awesome. I never seen it. His response was, you never seen that movie? Well, I didn't see every single movie under the sun, but I wanted to check this one out. It's early, like, um, green screen work and stuff like that that they do today with all this, the CG backgrounds and stuff. Yeah. Um, Jude Law, Gwyneth Paltrow... Um, Angelina Jolie, uh, Michael Gamble, um, the rest of the names I don't recognize. Uh, this was produced, one of the producers is Jude Law, so that was cool. So, this movie I want to check out soon. But my, my reaction to him was, you know, when he doesn't see a movie or know what a movie was... I'm like, oh, you never seen that movie? And he tells me the same thing. I didn't watch every single movie under the sun, but you have it in your collection. I don't watch everything in my collection. 
What's the point of a collection? But then again, I don't watch everything in my collection. All right, stop rambling. This is another one I got off of Cinema Sickness, brand new factory sealed. Shutter. Um, this is the unrated version. This one I I upgraded because I had the DVD, so that was an upgrade. This is a uh, from the director of Final Destination, Shark Knight. This was a Dollar Tree pickup. This was a glitch in a system pickup from um, um, Dollar General, Sid and Nancy. This also has a Criterion, but uh, not necessary. Not one of my favorite movies, but this is a good movie. Um, yeah. Sid Vicious, he plays. Um, it's Gary Oldman. Yeah, Gary Oldman and... Uh, who else is in here? Gary Oldman, Sid and Nancy. The rest of the cast, I do not recognize. Chloe Webb. Love um, Gary Newman stuff. Or Gary Oldman. Gary Newman. That's a singer. Um, another favorite one of my movies, Strange Brew, with uh, Rick Moranis, Dave Thomas, uh, a voice in here by Mel Blanc, and um, the rest of the people, Max von Sel uh, Seiden? Seldon? I don't know who that is. But this is a great movie if you haven't checked it out. Comedy classic. A uh, movie that's out of print right now, Space Invaders. Uh, it's about aliens coming to Earth on Halloween. And uh, this was a Mill Creek release, but it's out of print now. Wait, see, maybe this year Kino will release it. Uh, movie I got at the Big Lots again. The Big Lots, whatever. Silent House with uh, Elizabeth Olsen, uh, inspired by True Events. We'll see about that. Uh, another movie I got a big lots before it closed around here. Sleepless with uh, Jamie Foxx. Um, movie I only seen bits and pieces of. Scenes from a mall. Bette Midler. Woody Allen. And uh, this is not a Woody Allen film. He's just in it as a star. So, yeah. He didn't write it. He didn't direct it. He didn't produce it. Uh... Another Dollar Tree one, which was kind of hesitant to buy, but eh. uh, was it Season of Miracles? And it was uh, John Schneider in here. That's the only name I recognize in here. It's about a, it's a baseball movie. I think it's Little League Baseball. But uh, yeah, it's it was a made-for-TV movie because it had TG, TVG on it. Next, one of the newer Dollar Tree pickups. Um, which I was hesitant to buy, too. Uh, the Scorpion King 3. It's got a good cast. It's got, um, Dave Bautista, Billy Zane, Ron Perlman, amongst others that I never heard of. Uh, true story here. Seabiscuit, Tony McGuire. Uh, movie I did see. It is funny. Uh, Sisters, the unrated version. Uh, it has John Cena in it, John Leguizano, Ike Bernholtz, Maya Rudolph, of course, Amy Poehler, and Tina Fey. So it is well worth checking out if you're fans of them. It's like a Saturday Night Live skit, actually. This one, I got, um, I requested this for our Alan of Kerman's Ghost Channel, and he picked it up for me. This is all region. It is a stop or my mom will shoot. Not available here unless you want it on DVD, and then it's available. This says Region B locked right there on it, but I've noticed that these Final Cut Entertainment releases from the UK do play in all region. Next, the import version of um, Short Circuit. This is all region, in case you are looking for it. And... Uh, what does that actually say, all region on here? Oh, region free. It's region free. Okay, it's on the back. You can see that. So, this is the only way I could get it, because here it's out of print. But this one is still easy to find, kind of. Short Circuit 2. And uh, this U.S. version is uh, region A locked. But I never tried it on region B. So, hmm. got some... Uh, 
Got some Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder movies here. First one, See No Evil, Hear No Evil. Great comedy. Um, this was right before um, they made the movie... Uh, God, I forgot the name of the movie. But before their last movie, before Richard Pryor couldn't act anymore, it's um, See No Evil, Hear No Evil. I highly recommend this movie. Um... Yeah, no one else really famous in this movie, but it's it's just a great comedy. The first movie they were ever in was Silver Streak, and um, this was a great comedy. Richard Pryor's not in it uh, as much as Gene Wilder is. Um, it's about this um, it's about this train called the Silver Streak, where um, you know. Gene Wilder keeps getting kicked off of it, trying to find this murderer. And uh, it's got Gene Wilder, uh, Jill Claiborne, Richard Pryor, of course. you got, uh, I think, Ned Beatty's in here. It's not listed. Oh, yeah, Ned Beatty, Clifton Jones, and Patrick McGonaghan. Um, really good movie. If you never checked this classic out, check it out. It's on Anchor Bay, so it might go be going on the print. I hate 20th Century Fox when they used Anchor Bay for releases because of the fact they go out of print fast. So now that Disney owns them, is this going to be the case? Or is Disney going to do it some other way? One of my favorite ones with these guys, and this is directed by Sidney Portier, Stir Crazy. These two guys get framed for a murder and a bank robbery they, they didn't commit. And uh, they go to jail. And, um, yeah. They uh, try to escape many, many times. They finally do. Um, but, um, yeah, you have to watch it to uh, understand it. Great comedy, though. It's a classic. This is from... Um, 1980. So, yeah. Alright. Let's get it, keep going. Student Bodies. This is on Olive Films. Now, originally, this was only on VHS and LaserDisc. When I was having discussions with people on, I think, Blu-ray.com and other sites, people were, like, cocky about this movie, saying, it'll never, ever be on DVD or Blu-ray. You know, I hate those kind of people that think they're so smart that they're, that nothing can ever happen. Well, it did get released um, from Legends Film first, actually twice, on DVD. Once was by itself, once was in a double feature. Second time, it's um, Isle of Films on... No, wait, second time was Legends Film 2. It was a double feature with something else. And the third time was out of films on Blu-ray, which I was so ecstatic about. I was like the pre-order this like four months in advance. Um, it, it is in the UK under 88 films, so you could get it there as well. It's a B-region locked film, but you can't get it there. In Europe in general, probably too. Um, not one of my favorite uh, Will Ferrell movies, but it's funny. And it's got Woody Harrelson in there, co-starring. Semi-Pro, great uh, basketball movie. Not Will Ferrell, I don't find funny in this movie that much, but uh, the rest of the cast is great. And, uh, you know, it's well worth checking out. Um, I am Spartacus. And uh, this is a... Uh, this is a long movie, three hours and 17 minutes. I wanted the digi book of this, but it was kind of hard to find still. So maybe if I ever do find the digi book of it, I'll get it. Kirk Douglas, Lawrence of Olivier, uh, Charles Lawton is in this, Peter Ustinov, great actor, John Given, and Tony Curtis. Um, if you haven't seen this movie, you have to check it out. There you go. There was... Um, the anniversary edition of this came in the Digibook for Universal. Movie I haven't seen yet, but it has uh, 
huh I just got one of these but not with this not with this uh, title uh, Val Kilmer Curtis 50 Cent Jackson I just got two movies from Dollar Tree with him and Sharon Stone Streets of Blood so yeah uh, they're also in the movie Gun together so yeah apparently maybe that's a sequel Gun is a sequel I don't know uh, Showgirl or Snow Girl haven't seen it yet it's a Dollar Tree pickup as well and last but not least in this pile uh, Step Brothers this is a classic Beyond Classic the first time I seen this, I didn't really care for it that much, but then I rewatched it, and it just keeps me rolling, laughing. It's all region, but I think you can get this in UK. So okay, uh, to the next stack. Um, next stack, starting with Stan and Ali. This is a great film. This one should. Um, John C. Riley should have won the Golden Globe for Best Actor, but he didn't. Um, so should Stephen Coogan. He should have won something. This movie did not really do much of anything at the box office because it came out right after Holmes and Watson. So this one is actually a movie on demand. So yeah, um, the one in the UK, I don't think so. This is a movie on demand. So. And it's all it's all region in case you want it in other countries. The UK one is not all region for some crazy reason. I uh, got two from Marilyn Monroe here. The Seven Year Itch, a classic. Um, yep. And another classic. This has a Criterion, but I just rather go with this. Some like it hot. You got uh, Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, and Jack Lemmon, a classic. And also. Joey Brown is in here. I think it might have been one of his last movies. George Raft and Pat O'Brien. Really great class. Really great crap cast. And it's directed by Billy Wilder. Billy Wilder made some really terrific comedies. Uh, this one looked good. I got it at the Dollar Tree. Stuck in Love. It's got uh, Greg Kinnear, Jennifer Connelly. Lily Collins, uh, Logan Lemur, Lemur, I don't know how to pronounce that, Nick Wolf, and Christian Bell. Looks like a great rom-com, but uh, don't know because I haven't seen it yet. Just like all the rest of the television movies, the 200 that I have. Um, a movie that I'm hesitant to watch because I love the original with Danny Kaye. And that is The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Now, it's a different story, but um, it's pretty much the same idea. The Danny Kay version is out on DVD. You can check it out. It's in like a combo pack somewhere from um, Samuel Goldwyn Company. And I think MGM put it out too. Or Warner Bros. I think it was Warner Bros. Uh, but this movie I have not checked out yet. i only seen a little bit on cable. And that was it. So, I know, I'm kind of favor the Danny Kay version. But eventually, I will see this. And this is directed by Ben Stiller. Next, I heard this was really good. And I never watched it yet. Strangerland with um, Nicole Kidman. Hugo Weaving and uh, Joseph... Joseph uh, Fiennes? Joseph Fiennes? And, uh, yeah, it looks really good. It looks really interesting. This is from, uh, uh, some secondary company. Uh, oh, I can't find it on there, but, you know, it's worth checking out. Uh, another Nicolas Cage phoned in movie, Stolen. This, this was a surprisingly good movie. Shoot him up. And, um... The cast, the cast is awesome on this. You got Clive Owen, Paul Giamatti's hilarious in this. You got, uh, well, actually, the, the third star I don't recognize. But, um, yeah, great movie if you haven't checked it out. Great action movie. Here. This is from uh, New Line Cinema. 
it's only a region, but I think this is out in other countries. Um, this, this particular Blu-ray was the very first time I found out about the Dollar Tree sales. I don't even remember what year it was, but this was the only blue, I only went to one Dollar Tree. This was the only Blu-ray that I found, Brandon Fraser standoff. Have never found this again on Blu-ray. Uh, it's got a little, oops, the camera. Sorry, people. Um, it's got a little water damage on it. It wrinkled up from the fire we had, but it's not bad. Dried it out, and it's still good. It's only R for language. Um, who's in this movie? Uh, yeah, Brandon Fraser, of course. Uh, I can't pronounce his name. Colin, I don't know his last name, but uh, he's from... Uh, Star Trek and Star Trek and Space Nine. So there you go. <sighs> this is only in the UK right now. They should put it out here. Uh, I don't know what they're waiting on. All these Michael J. Fox movies. Um, even Canada. Because he's from Canada. You would think they're going to put him out there. No. And I hate this artwork. They should have just used the original artwork. It's Secret of My Success. And uh, this... So one of his earlier movies, I think from 19 what? There is no date on here, of course. Oh, 1987. So this is right after probably, you know, Back to the Future. And he was working on Family Ties at the time, I think. So, yeah. Another one I seen on cable. Didn't watch this DVD of it, but um, pretty good, but CG was kind of eh, and that is San Andreas with Dwayne The Rock Johnson and uh, the rest of the cast Paul Giamatti and the rest of the cast is kind of eh oh, great J.J. Abrams film and uh, produced by Steven Spielberg, Super 8 if you haven't seen this movie Oh my God, it just it blew me away the first time I seen it. And uh, it's written and directed by J.J. Abrams, produced by Steven Spielberg. Movie I've seen at the show. Well, the show, the theater. Super bad, great movie. Uh, written by um, Seth Rogen and um, Evan Goldberg. Yes. It's even got a small cameo by uh, Ken John in it on the bus. You blink, you'll miss them. Uh, this movie uh, I seen years ago, and when I seen Kino Lubber uh, released it, and it has Arnold Schwarzenegger as a um, as a, a cameo in here. It was um, it was a no brainer. I had to buy this one again, and uh, it also has uh, Cleavon Little in it, James Coco, Scatman Carruthers, Ruth Gordon, Cloris Leachman. Uh, Roddy McDowell, Richard Mulligan, Tony Randall, I think I just said, and um, Arnold Schwarzenegger as the uh, the special guest in it, and Vincent Price is at the beginning of this movie. Um, it's just a great film. It's it's really funny. So uh, yeah, you can find it in Kino. Sex Drive. This is the unrated version. I never seen the unrated version. I only seen the rated version off cable. Um, this is funny. This is some funny stuff. You got um, where's your cast? You got uh, Josh Zuckerman, Amanda Crew, um, Clark Duke from um, The Office and Hot Tub Time Machine, Seth Green, um, James Marston. And that's it. Um, great classic. It's just really good comedy. Um, actually, his artwork. This is the unrated version. So, yeah. I recommend to check that comedy out. Another Dollar Tree pickup that I never watched. But it had Danny Glover in it. That's what I said. Oh, okay, I'll pick it up and try it. Space Warriors. 
movie that's surprisingly surprisingly good. I thought it was going to be crap again because you know whatever. Uh, Saint Vincent, really good storyline. Bill Murray did an excellent job. Uh, let's, um, Melissa McCartney did not do her average annoying character in it. And you also have who else is in here? Probably looking. Oh, there you go. Uh, Naomi Watts is in this movie. Um, uh, Chris O'Doul is in it. Terrence Howard. And uh, that's about it. This is a great movie. Highly recommend this movie. Um, it's from the Weinstein Company, but they're, I don't know who's distributing it now. Ah, one of my favorites. This, I don't know if this one or, uh, was it this one or was it Wayne's World that was first? 2000 and, or 1993, I don't know. But, uh, it's So I Married an Axe Murderer with Michael my with Mike Myers, he plays um, he plays his dad in this and himself. He when he plays his dad is a Scottish um, person. It is so so much fun. Um, yeah, I highly recommend this movie. It's a classic. Uh, if you haven't seen it before, um, it's all region. In case you want to import it, so there you go. This one was courtesy of Kermit's. Ghost, Alan. I was looking for this one. I wanted a good copy, and the HMV uh, Premium Collection didn't fail. This is The Shining. Uh, this is the Extended Edition. Don't know if it was available here, but it comes with a really cool slip. This HMV line is really, really awesome, and most of these are region-free because they're Warner Brothers movies or companies that are region-free cover came with came with these art cards which I didn't open there's about five in there I think four or five art cards uh, boring disc art though you got the DVD and the blu-ray and uh, this one's from Warner Brothers so yeah um, really well worth getting uh, the the uh, premium collection, um, it's hard to find unless you live there, but you could still get it um, probably online somewhere. Go to HMV online, you might be able to find some more of these. And I don't know how many they're making because HMV was supposed to close. And they got bought by somebody else, so that was all gone. That's that panic was gone, and so they're releasing more of the HMV lines. So, really excellent collection. Spy who dumped me. Only seen bits and pieces of this. It looked funny. I never put it back in though. Um, I have to revisit this. And uh, this was from Lionsgate. It's got uh, Mila Kunitz in it. Kate McKinnon from Saturday Night Live, Justin Thoreau, and Sam Higgin. Is that, is that blah? At the end? I don't know, but yeah, I have to check this out again. I only watched half of it. Or parts of it. Um, best movie of the year from... Uh, what year was this? Damn it. 2016, I think. Best movie of the year, Spotlight. I seen this movie. Um, it is majorly messed up. What these reporters found out. This is based on. Um, it's based on a true story. Um, the cast is great. You have Mark Ruffalo, Michael Keaton, Rachel McAdams, um, Stanley Tucci. Just a great cast. And uh, six Academy Award nominations. Um, well, this sticker, because this is like before, you know, uh, it was the Academy Awards, um, including Best Picture, but they did win for Best Picture that year. So, Spotlight, highly recommend to check this out. It's about the Catholic Church and uh, priests um, molesting people, uh, molesting boys, and um, 
they were all covered up and stuff like that. So, great, great freaking movie. Not that I'm saying all priests do that, but there was a lot of cover-ups. Uh, this one I have not seen yet. Um, waiting for the wife on this one. She wanted to see it. Snatched. Um, Amy Schumer, Goldie Hawn. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I'll give it a shot one day. A lot of people crapped on this, which I watched the unrated version and the rated version for that matter. It's it's actually pretty decent, pretty funny. It is The Sitter with uh, Jonah Hill. This happens to be the unrated version and the rated version on here. And I think, if I'm not mistaken... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It's not going to slide open that easy. But, uh, uh, yeah, I think they're on two different discs. Um, so, yeah. The Sitter. Give it a chance. It is hilarious. And, uh, yeah. Another best movie of the year. Uh, nominated for 13 Academy Awards. But this is before. I bought this before. It won. And this was for 2017. Um, best Picture of the Year 2017, The Shape of Water. This is more like a um, continuation of Creature from the Black Lagoon. Very, very good. Uh, the only sad part is when he ate the cat. I didn't really understand that. But, okay. Shape of Water, great movie. Skyscraper. I got this in 4K on Black Friday for an unbelievable price. And I haven't watched it yet, but uh, I want to get going to this. Uh, yeah. I was debating, should I put all my 4Ks together, or should I just do alphabetical order and put it with the rest of the things? If I put them together, that takes less room from the shelf again. But, yeah. Uh, Mila, Jovovich, Mila Jovovich, big fan of hers. Pierce Brosnan, uh, Dylan McDermott, Angela Bassett, Robert Forrest, Survivor. Um, this came out from Millennium Pictures. Heard nothing but good things about this movie. So, yeah, I still got to check this out. It was a dollar, so nothing lost there. This one is a classic put out by Mill Creek. And uh, it's Written and directed by Bobcat Goldwith. And um, has Julie Brown from MTV Days right there. But also has a bunch of cameos from comedians such as Robin Williams, uh, Adam Sandler, Florence Henderson, Tom, Tom Kenny uh, from TV SpongeBob SquarePants. And... Um, the father who played in uh, Fifty First Dates, he's uh, working with Sandler in this movie. As a, he's, they're both dressed up like clowns. So if you didn't know it at the time, that's what it is. There's new audio, audio commentary from Bobcat Goldwith and uh, Julie Brown and Tom Kennedy. No, Kenny. Um, yeah, there you go. I don't know if this still exists. I don't think so. Um, the IRS release. I know it used to be a record label too, but if you know, comment below. Great freaking dark comedy. Very funny. Great movie that my wife but oh, and she rushed out and bought it because it was on sale. The Shallows with um, Blake Lively. Very hot Blake Lively. Look at that. See that? I was debating to update, grade this on 4K, but... I haven't seen the Blu-ray yet, so, yeah. Um, Blake Lively's in this. And that's all its cast members that it's listed. But one day, when my wife is free, I'll watch it. A movie I... No, a movie I didn't see, but I know the story of. So I really... I could take my time watching this. And that's Sully, the man who saved the people. Uh, and uh, flew a plane into the Hudson River to save everybody. 
this I know the story of um, I upgraded this I had it on blu-ray upgraded to 4k so um, looking forward to checking this out and see how it's filmed I think yeah Clint Eastwood produced and direct this movie and I love Clint Eastwood stuff this is PG-13 in 96 minutes so it's not that long of a biopic a uh, movie I I didn't see, but I got it off of um, a Hamilton book for a cheap price. The Signal, Lawrence Fishburne. Can't go wrong with him. He's very entertaining. Uh, this we found used at, uh, I think, a disc replay. Didn't come with the J card, which it did. It's the uh, social network with uh, Jesse Eisenberg. I only seen bits and pieces of it. Um Got to get into it. This one, found at the Dollar Tree. And uh, it's, all, it's only at Walmart um, exclusive, but found at the Dollar Tree. Um, the only thing that sold me on this movie was that Val Kilmer was in it. And I'm like, really? Val Kilmer's in this? Okay, I'll check it out. And uh, it's uh, called Standing Up. Uh... Don't know what it's about, but we'll, we'll check it out. I think it's about bullies. Uh, this one I found at a half price books at a damn good price. Brand new factory sealed with the slip. Sound of music. This is the all new... Uh, I think this is the first time it came out on Blu-ray. And um, it's the 45th anniversary. Tons and tons of special features. If you can read them. Um... Rogers and Hammerstein again. Um, movie. It is from 1965. 175 minutes. And. Uh, the blue. That was the DVD. Okay. It was 175 minutes. What. I don't understand. Is the Blu-ray. Is 174 minutes. And if you could see that. Judge for yourself. If you could actually make that out. Let's see. Can you make that out? I don't know. But if you check the back of these things, there's two different times. I don't know, a minute apart. This one for best picture that year, uh, 1965. Okay. Uh, last two in this pile. And then I have a, a part two to this S collection. This is a uh, Skyfall. And uh, this is a, I, I liked it. I think, I think, uh, you know, um, I'm drawing a blank. Um, drawing a big blank. Daniel Craig. All right. Daniel Craig did a really good job of this movie. Uh, it's filmed beautifully. And, uh, yeah, still want to get all his movies in a in a pack, but there's one more with him coming out. Uh, who else is in this movie? Judy Dench is in this movie. Um, you know, if you have if you're a big 007 fan, I highly recommend you check it out. This one I have not got to yet, and people are saying it's hilarious. It is Spy, and uh, with uh, Melissa McCartney and uh, Jason Staten. Rose Byrne and Jude Law. Um, directed by Paul Flig. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, there's the unrated version and the rated version on here. I gotta check this out soon. Alright, that was uh, the S Collection. Um, the part two to the S Collection is basically going to be sets. That I wanted to do in a separate video, uh, separate cl collection video, but nah, I'll just do it as a part two to the yes, S collection because if I would add these in, it'd be a hell of a lot longer. So, yeah, join me for the 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 S part two collection. See you next time. This is Movie Edge. <laughs>